when I got into the club, it was it was trying to get one game, then you get one, you want to play two, then you want to play ten, and then you know you get to fifty to get to one hundred was obviously a pretty big milestone a couple of years ago. So to fit one fifty uh, now is really exciting, but you know, obviously want to have a bit more team success moving forward and win a few more games the next hopefully one fifty. So um, yeah, it's a bit surreal, but super exciting as well. Yeah, I think as, as AFL players, it's sort of hard to reflect at times. You're always looking for the, the next game or the next win, or um, even when you do win, you're looking at the next game ahead um, the next week. So I did start to last night actually reflecting on getting to 150, started to get a few messages from my, my friends and family um, in the lead up to this weekend. So yeah, I guess reflecting some of the moments I remember strongly, 2016, the year with a lot of the guys away, but um, the way we formed a bond with that unique group and had a few wins at the back end of the year was pretty special. I think always the big games with big big fans, uh, big supporter base at Essendon and Anzac Days. Um, I think I've won one dream time, but those big games in front of big crowds are always pretty memorable. And I think my first Anzac Day win is probably the most memorable for me. I think Joey kicked five or six goals and um, had a few kicks that day, so it was a good fun day. It's their day in 2017. I think from day one I was pretty lucky to, to watch guys like Dyson Heppel, David Zarakis, Brendan Goddard, the way in which they prepared to play and train consistently and gave me some great habits day one. So I understand uh, how important it is to have some good guidance and mentorship, I guess, um, and teaching you the way to be an AFL footballer. I think we've had some really talented kids come in the door the last couple of years and um, to work one-on-one -on -one with Darcy Parrish a lot, Andy McGrath, and now the excitement of sort of Coxie and Perko, I think, um, if we can teach them the right way early on, they're going to be super players for a long period of time for the footy club. So, um, yeah, I'm enjoying that that phase. I feel like I'm a bit older now. Not that I feel that old, but, um, you know, we've got a lot of talent and it's sort of trying to harness that as much as I can. Knew which way it was going. Merritt, that's a beauty. Really good goal by Merritt. It's been a lot of change since, since day one. Um, to have a few coaches in and out and a few interim coaches in that time as well. To have Ben now sort of in, in a stable position and. I think he's brought a lot of his own thoughts and, and new beliefs to the group that I think the guys are really enjoying. And um, you know, I think the way that he's able to connect with the players, um, but be pretty firm as well, is providing some great consistency and, and something I'm really enjoying. And um, probably the best part's been our connection back to our, our history and, and our past, and, and really, uh, I guess, enjoying and soaking that up for what it is, and um, you know, also trying to forge our own path. But to get to Essendon and, and start to understand the history in the lockers and the players before me, and to start to connect back with the actual roots of the footy club um, back in the 1800s through trucks, learnings this off-season and pre-season has been awesome and have a much clearer understanding of, of where we've come from as a group and, and a club and um, you know, everything I do basically from waking up to putting my head back on the pillow at night is, is basically revolved around winning a premiership and probably does my partner's head in at times, uh, the drive and the, um, the want and obsession to win a flag but you know, I think it's time for us now to get back to winning, winning more finals and and trying to get our, our fans along for the ride as well. Smith got it forward, Sloan Parish important, and now Merritt, oh yes, he's a finisher. His third quarter was one of the big differences in the match. What a remarkable performance.